brothers welcome back to territorial.io we're starting off today here in a 31 player free-for-all battle here in europe gonna try and capture this area for ourselves i actually might oh you're gonna leave me up here all by myself lonesome in the north i like that that's a great opportunity for us i understand why he moved down there he's gonna have a little bit more opportunity but if we can collapse on him if he's not a strong player then we're gonna be very good positioned or well positioned so what are we going to do? Well, we're not in the best position to really early expand. I'm still going to try and why we're not in a good position to early expand in case you're a little bit new to the game is that's really based on the amount of bots around you. Uh, if you have a lot more open space, you, it just takes it's just not as smooth of a transition. So I'm going to be a little bit slower on the draw. Other people disagree with me. Everyone has their own way to expand. There is no golden rule in this. It's just like chess. Everyone has an opening. Not every opening, you know, guarantees you to win in every situation. But, you know you go with what you're comfortable with and you're more likely to succeed that way so let's go ahead and just keep going over here and uh, we do need to push down south but i also would really like to grab this free land over here let's get this right here go here and here and there and just try and capture as many of these weak bots as we can we do have an early crown we have saved up the, a little bit so we have a good amount of troops let's go ahead and start pushing aggressively and grab that pot that pot's oh frick and we missed on that one it was like a second though so we really didn't miss out that much but it's ah, mosquito kingdom <laughs> you got me again brother dang it god frick okay well we just will take out the mosquito kingdom i suppose on our own free time all right but we're doing a good job blocking this guy off which is good and we're getting a little bit of extra land over here let's continue to go this way block you off from grabbing any of these bots over here and be aggressive well this is what we needed to do to win this game early on and we have done a great job doing it so let's push down south grab whatever land we can we have a tremendous advantage over everybody else right now as long as we don't get ganged up on like in this moment we'll be fine so let's go ahead and take that alliance with this guy down here or at least offer it let's actually offer alliances to everybody it gives kind of that sense of security and also lets us know who is a threat who is not this is the guy I probably want to go into the most he's got a lot of land and not a lot of troops and we've got amazing borders on him so let's save up we have a tremendous advantage about 20,000 pixels over spqr who's down there in uh turkey middle east area so we are looking sharp we get an alliance with you iraq has not given us alliance uh i think jp is going to be our friend because he's got this guy down south to worry about brother dare i i do dare i do dare i'm a dare i graduated from dare just like everybody in the 90s let's go let's uh let's let's do a dare and um just be bold and go after this guy with a lot of force and hopefully this will pay off i think this is good especially as uzb is joining in on us he's gonna be fighting for not as much land but helping us take out the troops which i'm very happy about let's just push for all of this we have the troops to get this done i definitely think this is worthwhile grabbing the rest of scandinavia so there we go extending our lead even more in a very very dominant position at this point all we have to do is be patient and save and we can win we are going to have to collapse on the people behind us before we push down south pushing into the middle in this map is always a death sentence early need to be able to do that with a lot of force and there is not a lot of reason for us to continue fighting for right now as we have such a big lead that we can just uh, iraq you want to be my friend now huh okay okay i'll take it i'll take it let's get up to 10 million and start kind of consolidating our borders a little bit unfortunately it'll probably be our first ally which is jp jp player over here to consolidate this border a little bit more and then we'll start kind of working our way down through these guys now it is a question of how much do we want to push into spqr and how strong is he going to get and how fast can we do this because this guy only has a million too and he's got a lot of land but i don't think that's the best move for us right now i will take an alliance with you let's go ahead and uh just aggressively start going for some land some of the weaker fish right now take this guy out real quick as that's going to be a quick move for us grab the rest of this land and let's just start going through you uh, he could have been the best friend we ever had but alas you know early friends are not long friends in this game it is very much a game of position and strengthening our position here and not having to be trusting and surprised when we when if somebody betrays us it's just a better move overall so we'll clear out this guy right here and then i think honestly i avoid these guys and i go over i just go over here let's take out you i'll take an alliance with you i want to keep uh the a border with spqr for right now so let's go ahead grab this land here and actually zog over there is pretty strong so i'm going to ignore my own advice and since we already touched borders with tr we're just going to push through iraq 
and then take out the the tr player probably next just to eliminate a big threat off the board we don't touch borders with you quite yet and we have eliminated that player now we do need to slow down because we've expended too many troops but we're fine again let's go ahead and start fighting down a big fish right now and see if we can fight our way to spqr after this before zog becomes too much of a threat tr is going down that is very good for us and you have actually helped us in this that is a promising sign that you might be our friend till the end you're actually going into spqr wow okay so we have an ally a real ally and uh we didn't really do anything to deserve it <laughs> we've wiped out everybody near us but he wants to be our friend regardless let's go into spqr hello give me that and then this there we go and push into you now now we do have a little bit of a, a potential zog coming in yep knock you back and let's just send a boat right here oh i was trying to use that as a as a uh not working oh frick i need more troops hold on there that should be enough nope so not enough it is going to slow down his boats though finish you off knock you back and we got big attack by you okay well zog brother you have kind of made a mistake bro and weakening yourself to this degree so we'll just go into you not even have to worry about it let's just push heavily into you sir we've got plenty of troops to get this done oh yeah oh yeah big attack big attack we got plenty of troops to do this too thank you so much the spqr is desperately trying to weaken us at this point but we hold 42 percent of the land and we will just keep pushing down zog eventually uh, spqr is going to turn on him not even worried about it at all especially as we have this guy's alliance this guy's giving the board sign brother you're losing what are you talking about you should be uh not bored at all we'll keep finishing off you though and we're pretty pretty close to getting this done and at this point he's too weak to do anything about it so we will just kind of flip back and go into you save up a little bit you have betrayed us ah so may have gotten a little bit too cocky here. <laughs> but it's recoverable it's recoverable we've got 40 percent we'll just play smart We'll just go into spqr and we're the reason we're doing this is because his attacks will hurt the most we can definitely tank the other opponent's attacks more than we could take his attacks we definitely should have just focused him down from the beginning going to zog was absolutely a disaster i don't know why i thought i could get him out so quickly <laughs> i just got very cocky and uh, we're paying for that now so we'll just keep knocking down spqr and uh try and save up a little bit and yeah zog's not doing too much damage spqr attacking us is actually doing us a tremendous favor even though he's doing it for heavy amounts and the reason for that being is that if we just turtled up the other guys would have a lot more time to take me down so we are losing percentage but i do feel pretty confident especially as we are able to get back up to red interest and the attacks from the black player have stopped at least for right now zog is definitely attacking a lot more which is what you should do in this situation as we just need to take down spqr he's giving a uh, very we're, we're attacking every cycle he's attacking for very big uh every like couple cycles i think we're gonna win this we're definitely winning the positional battle with him so we're getting land off him and we're not losing percentage back we're gaining percentage we're back up to 40 percent so as long as we can keep this battle up i feel like we'll do pretty well on this front as we just will knock him down especially as he's low on troops after a big attack and can we boat over no oh please did i not send a boat oh good okay the 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 uh, the, the black player is attacking again uh, that's okay at this point i'm still feeling pretty confident we're losing a lot of troops and honestly zog taking back italy is pretty helpful for me at this point as we can manage our borders a little bit well i'm gonna let him finish up italy and then we'll take back or push him back and make him consistently boat back over this is what we should have been doing from the start bad mechanics on my part bad habits you know just uh, got a little bit too enthusiastic if you will but we'll be able to win this as long as we we're able to knock back zog and just keep the pressure on spqr so we'll just keep doing that keep knocking that back zog every time he sends a boat we'll just knock it back he's not attacking for a lot which is uh okay so the the player the black player is now helping us again brother you betrayed me just you can't pick the winning side like this brother we'll just keep knocking back zog at this point we definitely have one we're growing percentage wise we're maintaining a good amount of troops even with these constant attacks from zog uh spqr throws up the collapse of good sportsmanship gg's brother well played 
even though it's a little bit of toxic emojis coming out there in, in the middle but hey you know everyone's free to play their own game we'll just knock you down all the way and i think zog is kind of recognizing the uh the writing on the wall that his ally has fallen and he did not was not able to secure enough time to be able to take me down as now we're sitting at 48 percent and that should be it here as we're sitting at 49 50 percent just around the board and there we go we've officially won spqr has left the game so has zog there we go both those guys are gone well managed to stay allies with the french empire the whole time he might have been waiting for his moment or he might have just been happy to stay out of it either way i was happy to not have to fight him as well Ooh, the zog bot is attacking the french empire i definitely want to keep him around he was uh pretty helpful for me just being able to not have direct borders on zog if I was Zog, I might have attacked the French Empire just to get more direct borders with my, with my with the crown rather than trying to constantly keep voting over. So we'll let French Empire have the British Isles. We'll finish up uh, this guy over here and just take him down <laughs> because he did betray us. Even though honestly, he uh, was just kind of he was just hedging his bets. Honestly, I probably would have done the same in the same situation, but alas, brother ggs to all involved on this one as we wrap things up here we'll let the french empire grab the rest of the british isles yeah that was uh that was poor mechanics on my part won't make that mistake again at least for like another month <laughs> but uh we'll get the claps good sportsmanship and then uh we'll let them know we're going for a piece and then one ye kissy face for du boys and we'll go on to the next game as soon as that piece pops up hello miss nope nope not not the piece Still waiting for that piece any second now it's going to pop up there it is all right on to the next game all right next game up is going to be a 27 person teams battle we are going against the new cyb clan there's three of them here let's yeah we got this spot i don't like it though the red teams really put down their mark let's go over here with with our team in fact let's get this let's get this let's try and form a wall here i like our positioning we could potentially loop up north really more than anything we're securing the back lines for our team with this position making it less likely that there's another person that spawns back here on another team and if they do we can take them down quickly now we are very isolated in this position which means we can get pretty aggressive here in the opening i am not going to uh, i kind of like to approach the bot phase with a little bit more troops and show my aggression there i think that works out a little bit better but i am going to go a little bit early on my infinite growth phase in fact let's go right now and just get as big as we possibly can and it's going to be a hard one to maintain because we do have so much land to grab which is a great sign for us we just need to keep it up and it is very difficult to keep the number going but we are managing pretty well and that's the end of our bot phase and we enter one with about 14,000 troops give that a second as we uh, wait for some bots to open up there we go and we do need to kind of cut off the south from being exposed by this guy over here so that is our oh frick there's bots on the on our team kind of getting in our way well we're going to be aggressive here and try and get down through these green bots as much as we can just to prevent the rusher player from being able to get over oh my gosh we can't we can't okay well now we need to be more aggressive and grabbing land on the back line so there's nothing really for him to move over here and grab so that is a little bit unfortunate that that bot just got donated to okay well let's see if we can squeeze our way out and be a contributor to the team up north as well as we're going to be fighting this guy which is a, a big concern because he's going to be saving right now as we're fighting and we're fighting all these green bots that only have us to attack so we just go into them with a lot of force and kind of hope for the best we just need a little bit of time to buy ourselves as this green wave is a bit of a nuisance but there we go we can hold the line here at least have a moment to breathe and just keep grabbing land so pretty good showing for us uh are you going to go down we have the crown and a good amount but we're pretty far behind uh troops wise on this guy so we just need to save up for a little bit and we'll be able to recover and grab you and hold 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 build troops build troops and we'll be just fine now i don't have a lot of fear from this guy i'm hoping this ru player will help, be able to help me down here but we have the crown by a good margin and even with all this land that we're losing down here to the red team i'm not the most concerned with the red team i'm more concerned with the green team at this point they do have a pretty good consolidation if baby don't hurt me falls that could be pretty bad hey um no i get the crown we hold it was can, can you can you help over here do you think what do you think what do you think do you want to go in do you want to hold because we can take this guy down together okay he says yes let's do it 
I think this is worth it. I'm not too worried about this guy up north, but taking out this giant red player, especially as Os Osmanli in the back, is so weak, I think is a, a thing to do. And we will work, just work together. Yeah, he's going into the weaker player. Good. That is a bit of a mistake there. And I think he just attacked us because we didn't really gain much land. We'll try and get a little bit more troops than him. Okay, we surpassed him in troops. Now we can go. I am. I am. I am. Mary, don't you worry. We do this. And now. especially. And we keep pressuring him. Now, there may be a thought of like, why are you attacking so early? It's honestly because I kind of saw the writing on the wall that if we let this guy stick around, he was going to wipe out our entire team. I don't feel strong enough to win this alone. I definitely think it was worthwhile jumping into this just because the AZ, I wasn't anticipating the AZ and the CYB guy working together, which is unfortunate because Mary is going down. I was kind of hoping that the green player would keep them in check a little bit more, but alas, that's not quite what's happening as the green player just full sent up north. And Osmanli is doing a great job holding the line. We really need to get to red interest now and start playing smart brother let's just shield up for right now let's just hold the line well i'll be able to take this guy on from here on out but i'm very worried about the northern neighbors being able to work their way through mary so he might be able to donate i'm gonna maybe try and donate as well i don't even know actually if that's, that's kind of a lost cause at this point we really just need to take down this red player he's going to be a constant thorn in our side osmanli might be able to hold a little bit longer if we get make sure that this red player is not able to attack osmanli so we will just keep the pressure in on the enemy that we've made. And unfortunately, that's going to involve Mary going down here. Can I slow this down a little bit? Can I slow down your decision-making process at this point? No. Um, but CY, CYB doesn't have the best borders on uh, the, uh, the RU player, so he might not jump in on that. But we just need to finish this up here. Now, fortunately, the SPQR player goes up north and starts fighting the green team, which they are winning. Keep that in mind. They have 36% of the land. We really need to uh, just continuously grab, knock down this red player. I was really hoping he would full send early, which is kind of the advantage of attacking early is you get that full send. And we all, our team was in prime position to grab that. Alas, that did not work out. And this has been quite the slog. We're trying to get an uh, alliance with Duck over here because he's got Pew to worry about. So he may not be focused on us. Osmanli does leave and becomes a bot. That's okay. I think at this point it's fine because we were able to get down this guy. I would love to protect the RU guy at, if at all possible. But Duck has left and become a bot. So I think the best opportunity is taking out this green player right here, especially because Pew and God are fighting up north. So I'm not even sure if they're going to be paying attention to what's happening down south. And I might be able to grab all of this here in a couple sins. I don't want to do it right now because that's a lot of troops. No, let's just go right now. Let's just go right now. The bot attacked heavily into Osmanli. Let's just grab all of this. The, uh, yeah, I was anticipating everyone kind of thinking there'd be another cycle in there. And I think we caught him off guard a little bit. And we're in a prime position. We're in a great position where the northern player, the northern green player, I don't know why he left. He was in a great position. Grab these bots. But Pew and God are not setting aside their differences to fight me, which is fantastic. Because now we can just kind of work our way up towards that bot and take him out pretty stealthily and grab all of that land for ourselves. We might share a little bit with SPQR, but we have more troops than he does. In fact, do we just take you out now, brother? I think we do. I think we don't try and share any of the land. We'll just kind of secure the victory for ourselves here. Now that will put the pressure of a bot that has 6 million troops against us, but we have 45% of the land and God just full sent Pew. Let's really push through Pew right now. Get some slightly bigger attacks here. I don't want him to have all of this land and we can take him out rather quickly here with just a few attacks. I definitely think it's worth sending all the troops here. And there we go. Now we can jump in on God and grab the rest of his land as well and clean up these little dots down here. And there we go. So what was a pretty big risk attacking in the, in the beginning of the game did work out. Unfortunately, we lost some teammates along the way, but we're able to keep the RU player. He was a, a great sport. I definitely couldn't have done this, won this game without him. So GG's to all involved on this one. And as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially made this far in the video. If you ah, made this far in the video, hey, give a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one. And a special thank you to all of my members with shout outs to producers Chris Mitchell, Kevin Eddie Stamps, Obama Toast, Christopher Ryan's American Patriot, Quag Sire Lover 32, Executive Producers, Miss Gets the Mallard, A137, Mason Slash Aurelius, Rob Drake, Rob Coleman, Uther Econom, Noob Rex, Jack Russell, Sakari Scarlet, Morwin, Ogan Gabriel, Demented, Brock Lowry, G Jeremy Daniels, Crushland, and channel sponsors Daniel Stevens and Maverick149. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.